Hi folks, so in this tip, there's not a day that goes past, probably for me and most coaches, where folks just say, oh, I just want to be more consistent. And that sounds great, it's a nice concept. Of course, we all want to be more consistent, hit our best shots more often. But how are you going to do that? And it might, might sound rather sarcastic, but I often say to them, well, it's quite simple. All you've got to learn to do is hold it consistently, stand to it consistently with the ball consistently in the right place and the stance with the right uh, width for that club and then consistently make the same shape swing with the club face and club head travelling in the right direction with a consistent finish and if you do that you'll be fairly consistent so it really does in golf more than any other sport because they're often a moving ball sport with a bigger ball or a bigger racket or bat in golf it really is mega mega important that you're more precise and you're more disciplined with your approach. If you're erratic with your approach, believe me, your shots are going to be erratic. So just as an example, if I hit a couple of shots for you, and I'm going to go through the same routine where, again, this is consistent, aiming the club, aiming my stance, getting the ball in the right place, the same amount of waggles, finish balanced, and do the same again each time Aim the club, stance, ball position, feet, posture, same waggles. If I can finish balanced each time, that's really, really key. I'll often film my swings and put 10 of them on a video and the finishes will be identical. That's because I learnt early on that you had to be disciplined. Now this time of year, you may not get the opportunity to practice like you normally would or get to the range and if you can't do that there's nothing to stop you either getting a little short club or using one of your own clubs and just holding it down and standing in the house and practicing your grip practicing your stance and go through the relevant motions or detail of the motion so you know exactly where you want the club to be and how you'd like your finish to be it really is a question of recreating those same things there's probably no other sport in golf where people's expectations are, are quite high and in terms of a quite a short time frame if you said to somebody listen I want you to learn the piano in a year and be a concert pianist or I want you to play the violin or I want you to run in the Olympics in two years as fast as Usain Bolt people would say are you crazy but for whatever reason in golf they watch Rory McIlroy on television and think well why, why can't I hit it 300 yards like him and practice once a week or what have you these folk have spent a lifetime hit millions of shots are talented athletes and they've spent a lot of discipline and as I say hit millions of golf balls going through the right procedure so it's pretty difficult to shortcut that process but a lot of folk as I say the problem I always say to people is that golf looks easy but actually isn't but that doesn't mean it's not impossible it is very possible if you have the right approach and you're diligent with your practice and you're stylish and you try to duplicate good habits if the ball gets in the way of a player who stands to it well and grips it well and swings the right shape there's a, good, there's a good chance that ball's going to go in the right direction. If you're erratic and you're not as balanced and your grip's all over the place, I'm, I'm afraid you aren't going to be very consistent. So try to pay attention to the detail. Sometimes you're better off standing and looking in a mirror, checking your swing, getting an appreciation of what your golf swing looks and feels like. And be patient and keep your expect, take expectations realistic and believe me, you'll get there. But it's not as easy as it looks, but it's not impossible. So good luck with that, and just try and say and be disciplined with your approach.